lot of times, we, again, we're talking about the different ways somebody can move their arm to try to protect themselves. Uh, with that, you know, choke, we had it where they're really tight to us. But sometimes they're maybe kind of tight to us like that, but we have a little bit more slack in the shoulder and we can't, and so instead of attacking the neck, we're going to attack the shoulder. So what's going to happen is I'm here and I'm in my position. I start to sit through and I'm here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to swim it down low and connect here. I'm pinching his wrist into my armpit. And then what I'm doing is I'm pushing this down and I'm lifting that up like that. It's kind of like a uh, come more from side control where we take the slack out of it. So again, I'm here. He's up tight. I'm going to come and bring my hand low, bringing my weight forward so he bends his elbow. I'm going to connect in a C grip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up, but I'm going to pull this forward to me. Like I'm going to, if my thumb was here, I kind of go like this with it, thumb to me, but I'm driving it in here like that to get the tap. The whole purpose is I need to weave this and connect. We're pushing this down and lifting this and lifting this back. So it's kind of a down tuck motion here. We connect and then we're coming up like that right onto the shoulder. Very simple little Kimura. It's also available from that position.